the capsule has broken and now the planned routine cataract surgery has unexpectedly become complicated. Should a nuclear piece fall posterior, do not chase after it. It is far better to refer the patient to a retinal colleague for a past planar lensectomy than risk a retinal break or detachment. Before your patient will be referred to your best friend, the retinal surgeon, you have a lot to do. The key for an anterior vitrectomy is taking your time and doing a thorough cleanup of any prolapsed vitreous. Most capsular tear occur during the last stages of nuclear emulsification. The capsular bag is more prone to collapse at this stage. Because the majority of the nuclear material is gone and the bag is no longer held open, the surgeon is less concentrated. Lower the bottle height, lower the flow rate, and lower the vacuum level to achieve a slow motion effect and keep cool. mistakes. Don't inject the OVD first. We'll stain the OVD and the vitreous when you will inject the triamcelanol. Don't use your irrigation aspiration cannula take out the residual masses and the vitreous. Don't try to do risky maneuver, like posterior capsulorexis to put a lens inside the bag. Try to be simple. First step is to inject preservative free cream cinnamon via the paracentesis to stain the vitreous. 5 ml alcohol, and preservative spray. Paul Korn was one of the pioneers of using cream cinnamon to stain the vitreous in cases of vitreous loss. This technique is so valuable and effective that it is likely the standard of care when performing an interior vitrectomy. The second step is to use your irrigation aspiration by manual paracentesis to introduce your 20 gauge vitrectome and use it like an aspiration cannula. On the other side, you use your irrigation cannula. If you have some vitreous mesh work, change to the cutting mode of your vitrectome and cut the mesh work. After fill up the entire chamber, in most cases there is adequate capsular support to implant an well into the ciliary sulcus. The overall diameter of the chosen well should be 13 mm. If the well is to be seated in the sulcus, adjust the well power for the change lens position. A rule of thumb is to reduce the lens power by 0.5 diopter from the depth calculated from the bag implantation. To be sure that the aptic are inside the sulcus, inject first the lens inside the interior chamber, then with a spatula of the Nagara, place the aptic one by one just behind the iris. To take 
called COVD, used against the bimanual parasitosis with the irrigation cannula and the vitrectome. The last step will be to inject once again the triamcinolone to be sure all the vitreous meshwork disappear from the anterior chamber.